started off Dark Sizzle. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, guys. What's going on? Dark Sizzle Pudding coming at you. We're new to the channel. We are a Florida fishing couple. Today, we are on our flats boat doing some inshore fishing. And it's going to be an exciting day because we got like a boat full of people. Yes, we're at beautiful Boynton Beach. We've got my best friends from home. They're not going to tell any stories they promised. Yeah, it's usually and, uh, just us you guys see. So yeah. it's exciting to have new people on the boat and get them on some fish. All right, let's get to it. It's bright and early. The wind's about 15 knots, so we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we are at our first fishing location. Look for some bait this morning. It was not a lot of luck, but you got to try. And I'm fishing the shrimp on a jig. Hooked the first fish of the day. Ooh, he swallowed my jig. Oh, it's all right. All right, so we're going to break off the skunk with a nice Jack Creval. Awesome. Also known as Canal Tuna. Put up a nice little fight there. So I am going to let him go. I always do that with the first fish. Otherwise, I would keep it for stone crab trap bait. Got hooked pretty well right there. And then today, the setup I'm using is an Akuma combo here. We have a Akuma Azores reel paired with the Akuma SRT Inshore Elite. And we're using 20 pound braid as our main line. And then we have 20 pound fluorocarbon leaders, very, very light. And you can see my jig right there and a piece of my shrimp that he ate. All right, so that's how we're fishing today. I guess I gotta get these boys rigged up on shrimp too. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, me and the boys been casting around for 10 minutes, didn't catch nothing. Darcy made one cast, caught a fish. Literally as I was holding it. Who wants it? Oops, okay. Come and get it. Somebody get it. All right, we got a so fish on. You can round tip up and just reel. You're oh, gonna try to land them on my side <laughs> over here. Guys got it. It's out there a ways. You got a ways. Let's go. Brian, hold the chickens. Jesus, Cecil's running around like crazy. What do you got, guy? What do you oh, got? Oh, you got ribbon fish. Flip them in. Flip them in. Just like we said, a ribbon fish. Ribbon fish. We you go can... back here, mother. You don't be flipping them back. Flip Whoa, them it's a monster. Whoa. Careful In the now. back. Careful in now. the back. Guy. It's all right. He's up front now. <laughs> all right. Is that your first ribbon fish? Yeah. Wow. All right, guys. Check this out. Look at that translucent body on that fish, if I can get out of the shadow. But uh, that's his first ribbon fish ever. We have like a ribbon fish hole now in shore, and they've been holding for a long time in this area. So it's pretty cool to catch another one. Look how gorgeous that thing is. And wild, yeah. wicked teeth. And um, they use them for kingfish bait offshore here in tournaments and stuff. They'll troll them dead because it looks like a snake in the water. Look at that ribbon going. It's wild. Super cool. All right, let's get him off the hooks. All right, there he is. Whoa, that was not good. All right, guys, so this crazy creature that we caught, even though it looks like a deep sea creature, it's not and they're found in shore, kind of all up and down the eastern seaboard. The lures that we use are always in my Amazon store, link down below if you guys are interested. All right, let's catch another fish for them. All right. Somebody eat it. Let's go. Rich. There you go. Nice and steady, nice and steady. That looks a little, if you don't have to pump, don't pump, be a jack. All right, we have another ribbon fish hole. That's back-to-back -back ribbon fish. Usually don't catch more than one in one day, so it's pretty cool that each twin got to catch. A ribbon fish. You can just flip them right into the back right here. Whoa, big one! Oh, that's a monster. Whoa, dude. Holy smokes, look at that thing. Now you gotta get your phone to take a picture. Yeah, that's a big one, man. Yeah, you can hold your fish and you can take a picture. Look at that thing, guys. Brian, you gotta get on the sun sign. Yeah, I know. Sick. Three and a half foot. He's a monster. On the other lure now. So both lures caught fish, and these are the regular lures we troll on a regular basis. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's right. There he is. Yeah. So we got a fish. I want a net. Whoa. Whoa, dude. What do I have? It's not fighting like a jack. Back off the drag a little bit here because I was just set up for fishing docks. We're just moving spot to spot, guys. Oh my God, it's a drum. Give me the net. Get the net. Get, get the, the net. net. Get the, the net set up. Get the net set up. It's all right. Oh, yes. All right, guys. Oh, please, baby. Let me land this fish. You ready, Brian? It's a yeah. nice one. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ready, ready? Woo! That's, That's my first a big one. Fourth lagoon! That is a monster! Damn! What? High five! <laughs> yeah, buddy! Dude, we that is awesome! Dinner. So sick! Alright, cast it right back here. So get your lines over here <laughs> immediately. They're, they they school up. So when there's one, there's more. There's gotta be more so back cast there. out here and just let it go. And like I had a fish on. Incredible, dude. This is incredible. I've only caught a couple of these in my entire life. A couple in Stewart uh, back a couple years ago. But this is just my first 
Lake Lorth Lagoon or local waters, you could say. Gorgeous black drum. Look at that fish. That's perfect eating size too. They call big uglies as well. They get monstrous in like the Louisiana area. Just came right out. Shrimp on a jig, baby. And they, um, they get monstrous, like 40, 50 pounds. Well, this is just a perfect eating size fish, guys. Look at that. That was nice. awesome. Put up a really nice fight. And uh, just getting that net ready was, the second I saw him, I was like, oh man, <laughs> get the net, get the net. So we got a delicious dinner to share tonight. That is awesome. Sick. What? Let's get some more. <laughs> oh, nice. There you go. Oh, nice. All right, the boys are catching. Doubled up on some fish here. All right, guys, we're gonna put this guy in the hair club cooler. And uh, we actually found this spot like all on our own, just using our low ranch depth finder unit and basically finding a really deep hole. Fish are deeper this time of year in the winter months down here in South Florida. And sure enough, I mean, that was my first cast in this spot and I hooked up. And we have it marked try on our map. So we're trying it today. And now I know it's a black drum hole, baby. It's another one. We're gonna find out. All right, just made a long cast out there, got reset over here, and I'm hooked into another decent fish, putting up a nice fight. It's a jack. He's just acting like he's <laughs> something else because they literally did not feel like a jack. We're just excited. I'm very excited. <laughs> but I will take a jack all day, Woo. too. As long as I'm bending rods, I'm happy. And today is already a great day. We've seen just three crazy things happen today that's never happened in our entire lives starting with a manta ray that almost jumped in the boat this morning. Then saw a shark going across a flat in like one foot of water. And I just caught my first ever black drum in 11 years of fishing here. What? <laughs> and that, that ribbon fish was like the biggest we've caught. Like I don't yes. even know how long. We never caught two either. Yeah. All right, my boy Rich nice is hooked up on a nice fish now. He's got a nice fish. Look at that SRT bend. No joke. Woo. Ooh, it's silver. Nice. That's the biggest, biggest one of the day. Jack of the biggest day. one of the day. Heck yeah. Look at that. That is the biggest one of the day. Nice fish. They put up a fight. It's a nice medium jack. What's up, guys? Brian's eating. I don't know what I got. I was eating my chicken and vegetables. Staying deep. Rodney, Rodney caught it. I was having lunch, like I said. Head feels like a jack. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm not a professional fisherman like Darcy. Oh my gosh. I got him. Show the kids at home. Show the kids at home how a pro does it. Well, I'm using a white jig. Guys, look at what Rich just put in the boat. They are good luck today. This is a gorgeous hermit. Look at that. Look at that fish. That's a nice fish too. Put up a heck of a fight. We thought it was a Jack Craval. Let me just pop this right out of his face. But that is also gonna be our very first permit in home waters. I mean, just incredibly rare, incredibly epic. I was just trying to explain to him how special this fish is. I've never caught one, and he just caught one. I mean, look how pretty that permit is. If I can get a hold of him, I don't want to beat him up. Look at that fish. That's what people go to the Florida Keys for and target in the flats because they are such a pound for pound, one of the hardest fighting fish in the flats. And that's amazing he just caught that here. What? Mind blown. Back to back. What? Another permit. <laughs> oh my God. This is so crazy, guys. This is so crazy. Gorgeous fish. Look at the cichlids on him. Wow. All right, back to back. The twins just caught each their very first permit. And I've never caught one. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this is really cool, man. Another permit. I mean, it's not the small, biggest one in the world, but it's a great sign to see these in our waters. Again, this is like more of a fish you catch in the Florida Keys, uh, down in Miami, like the Homestead area and the Everglades. Not here. All right, you better get a shrimp in the water, says we need to catch one. I'm just trying to get this fish released. I know. Nice. Look at this fish. It's gotta be 11 to 22. 11 fork. minimum fork length to 22 tops. There's Very confident. Very confident it is. On these fish. So I'm gonna measure Rich's fish for him. Uber confident. On the Pear Club cooler, but I'm pretty sure this fish is gonna keep. I'm saying it's like 18. I'm gonna say 14 to the, to the fork. I'm gonna say 14. 14. Just under 14 to the fork. See it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, how cool. 
So we just got the first keeper ever black drum on this boat in local waters and our first ever back-to-back -back permit that we put Rich and Guy on today. Just <laughs> totally epic. I should, I'm holding his fish, but I didn't catch one. I'm going to try to catch one right now, but either way, it's just been an epic day. I don't know how much more epic it can get. This thing is going to be so tasty, so we're going to put him in the hair club cooler. We deserve one. Oh. It's not probably, fighting like I should probably get the, should probably get the net caught. out. And we get probably. Uh, yeah, hopefully it's not a jack. It might be a snook. We get the net. Coming forward, that might be a snook. I'm bringing it forward away from the dock. That's what the snooks do. Please stay on. All right, so Darcy wanted to fish this dock. Oh, help him, Brian. Just use the other part, don't worry. I don't know, man. It's keeping its head down like that other fish. I've not seen it. It's not a jack. I know how jacks fight. It's a snook. Because we got this. Look at this here. gorgeous fishy. Is it a 32? No. No. I don't think it's gonna keep. It's gonna be just under a slot. Are you ready? Yeah, it's a snook. Yeah. I got a snook. Oh, it's gonna be close. <laughs> it's gonna be bring him up here. Oh my god. It's gonna be close. Dude. Right here. Guys, I cannot stop fishing. Like he's gonna be 26. You guys know me. I love to catch fish. <laughs> they just gave up and stopped fishing. I'm like, oh. Gave it up. Just it's came 4 right o'clock in the afternoon. The just came right out. Of course it did. I will fish all freaking day until Brian That's super close. and everybody gets tired. But this is a really Not nice fish. 28 to 32. They have to be 28 to 32 inches long to keep. Let's get this. No, total length. He might. Off. Yeah. He's super close, bro. Trust me. No, he's not. No. 26. I said 26. 25 inch fish. That's still a really nice snook for a dock. Yeah. How cool is that? Now we got our keeper, not keeper. Now we got our snook. Snook season just opened back um, February 1st. So you're allowed to keep snook now, but this is the first nice fish I've caught in a while. And he put up a nice fight right there, right on that dock. We got an outgoing tide and I wanted to fish this dock. Haven't fished it in a while and sure enough, got a nice fish. Let's let him go. All right, so we always support the belly on snook. They are considered a sport fish, just like those permit we caught earlier. So always support them, never hold them vertical, and uh, just take your time releasing them. So what I'm gonna do is hold the fish into the current. This current's going over his gills like this, and basically wait till he starts kind of chewing on my thumb, and then I know the fish is ready to go. They don't have no teeth, luckily. Beautiful fish. Put up a really nice fight. You ready? Almost ready. Is he biting you? Almost. He's starting to bite me right now. <laughs> there he goes. He just freed himself. Sick release. That's sick. That's what you want to see with the snook, and that way our future generations can catch him too. That was awesome. How big does snook get? Snook get huge. Yeah. They just asked me how big snook get. They get, we call it a 40 inch club. If they hit 40 inches on that ruler, that's a huge fish. I mean, and so I've caught, blessed to have caught probably close to two dozen over 40 in the, over my years of fishing. But yeah, like 25 pounds, 35, 30 pounds is a big snook. Yeah. We're back at the house, guys, and we got the permit, the larger one that Rich caught, and he's gonna be feeding us. So thank you very much, Rich. They went back home already, so they're not able to enjoy this fish. But I did send them home with a bunch of fresh fish that we recently caught. So I know a lot of you guys are right off the bat gonna be mad at me that this fish is in my hands right now because this is a sport fish just like a snook would be just like sailfish, all kinds of fish out there. Listen, this is gonna be the very first permit I have ever filleted and we're ever gonna taste in my entire 34 years of life. Well, I'm almost 34, 33 years of life. So I'm allowed to keep this legally within the rules and regulations as fish is a keeper and I kept one. So it is what it is, guys. We're just gonna try it. So I'm sorry if you're mad, but I follow the rules. <laughs> so, and I've released and caught very big permit over the years and released those fish. Um, in the Florida Keys and all kinds of awesome stuff on wrecks down there and in the flats. It was amazing. So let's just dive right into this. I'm also wearing my permit pendant. I literally have every fish that swims as a pendant on my website. So if you got a favorite fish, head over to my website, link down below. And uh, it's a great gift for men and women in your life. Okay, let's do this. It's my first time ever, like I said, filleting a permit. First time ever going to be eating a permit. I'm very excited. So this guy is very similar to like a pompano. So I'm gonna fillet him like I would a pompano. And I mean, they look like a pompano. They're shaped like a pompano. And we're just gonna go way up into his head, just like a pompano. I knew it, there's a bunch of meat there. 
and then we're just gonna slab off this beautiful piece of meat that I'm so excited to see. I mean, I've caught and ate most of the fish in Florida that swim, but this is one of the first ever for me. So I'm so excited and cooking with pudding hopefully is gonna cook something amazing for us in the house. All right, and now I'm just bending the curve of my dark sizzle blade here. Wow, look at those bones on this fish. See those bones? That's wicked. Oops, sorry, hit the camera a little bit. Turn the knife around, then we're gonna go over and see what these pin bones look like and the rib cage. Don't, oh, it does stick out quite a bit. All right, we're just taking our time with it. Letting a sharp knife do the work for us. Got a little peck fin right there. Oh, look at this, this looks amazing. Boom, that is awesome. Look at that meat, it literally looks like a pompano to me. Very cool. All right, so that fish is just super wide, so I'm gonna switch my blade here and try to skin it normally, but I have a feeling it's gonna be a very thin skin, just like the Florida pompano that we catch on the beach. Just getting a little bit of that belly meat off. Do you wanna leave the, leave the skin on? What do you think? I don't know. I think a lot of people leave it on. It's just like a Florida pompano. A lot of people leave the pompano one on too. Let's, let's leave it on. Okay, cool. So then I'll just get this little. You want to leave of... one on, take one off, maybe. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll take. We'll leave. We'll have one slice with it on and one slice with it off. There you go. All right. So this one we'll leave on. No, this one you take off. Oh, okay. He we're... wants me to mess up. Okay. <laughs> no, no. We're not, we're not going to show the other one because it's the same as this side. Okay. Let's do this. It does right. have pin bones. Meat looks quite tasty, and I'm going to just take my time with this, and hopefully I don't cut through because it is a tricky fish to fillet. That's or skin. That's for sure. One of these days, I'm really looking forward to catching my own permit in our home waters. But either way, that fish, this fish was caught on our boat. Keeping my blade up a little bit if I can. Nice. I think you did great. Woo! That's fine. Oh, I got a little bit there. Just leave not, it. Not a big deal. Just leave it. Not a big deal. Leave the red bloodline too. There's a bunch of pin bones right there. No, take that out. Yeah. Awesome! Did a pretty good job for my first ever permit. Big, tough pin bones right there. All righty. Yeah, ready good. to eat. Delicious. That's going to be amazing. I'm All right, so though, Sizzle. I'm so excited. She was, she was so excited now, but she was so mad on the boat that she didn't catch a permit and all the well, guys Well, I wasn't mad, <laughs> but like they got them back to back and Brian's like, stop playing with that fish, get your line right back out so you catch one too. Right. Blah, 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 blah. But honestly, we wouldn't have caught those fish if we didn't have two other people fishing in the water. So it's really yeah. all about having lines out a lot to catch of times. fish. Because yeah. thanks to the Ralph brothers, twins, we would have not caught these permit. Pretty epic. Yeah. But I did catch a black drop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. It's bigger than the permit. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. We'll see you we'll we'll inside. the other side of the house. I mean, fish, we'll see you inside. Thanks so much, Tessa, for cleaning up that permit. That's the first time she ever cleaned one again. And welcome, guys, to another edition of Cooking with Puddin'. Table edition. The ta sitting at the table edition. All right. So I don't want to put any crazy sauce on this fish or anything, because I really want to taste it. It's our first time, as we said. And the meat looks exactly like a pompano, as does the fish. People confuse them all the time. A bit less oily, in my opinion. Like when you cleaned it. Yeah. You I'm looking at the fish and on my knife, there's no oil compared to a pompano. I, I think that's a safe assumption. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I looked up a recipe online, or just did some basic stuff really, is I just put, uh, brushed butter on it. You can do oil too, but I want to do some butter this time. Uh, put on the, uh, baked it at 350. Also put on just some salt and pepper type of spice on there. I forget what this is even called. Just throw it up in the cabinet. And then I sprinkled some breadcrumbs on top just for some, some texture, okay? Put it in the, uh, on, baked it at 350 again. It took like only 12 minutes. Again, don't overcook fish. Don't be afraid to undercook fish, okay? And what do you think though, Sizzle? Let's do it. Try it out. Yeah. Brian's got the one that has skin on it. Oh yeah, let me try the skin. Oh, and I, and, and I put a little bit of rice. We have some nice rice here, so. so it's lunch. really good. It's not a fishy fish. And no. it's not like pompano either. No? Let me taste the skin too. Like you can't even taste the skin. It just comes like right apart. I mean, the skin gives it a little bit more fishy flavor. Yeah. But that's fine. That's good for you. So yeah, I, I, I don't mind. It tastes like fish. So 
it's yes, it, it looks like pompano, but it's not as firm as pompano. Mm -hmm. It's really white and delicious, mm. frankly. I think the breadcrumbs made it like made it like a made it like a nice little texture actually on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really good. Really, uh, it's really one of the best fishes around. So definitely. So, and so don't get mad. You can have a pom you can have a pompano every 34 years. Yeah, I think that's okay. <laughs> every 50 something years. I've never had one before. But we are gonna enjoy our tasty permit. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything we talked about is gonna be linked down below for you guys to check out. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams. dreams. And, and keep, keep on catching. catching. We already did that.